Hey, and be delusional. Top three LP songs. I don't know. Heavy as the Crown, Emptiness Machine, Paper Cut. Run the Jewels and Fanagram. I love all of those. Both of those. Fanagram is one of my favorite bands. Um, and Run the Jewels, obviously, are legends. Um, electronic drum. I, love, I have a V drum kit at home. I think that that's, that's a really good one. Feels natural. Uh, let's see. Tajikistan. What's up? Let's see, you guys are coming in so fast. I'm not playing all the songs on stage. Difficult song? Um, I don't know. The Catalyst is kind of hard actually because it's, it's like a really straightforward beat but it's like kind of off time a little bit with the kick drum, it's tough. Oh, it's my main instrument, drums. Are you excited to have Sleep Token? Yes, they're one of my favorite bands. How was I selected? Uh, it's in the interviews. Go listen to Go look at the interviews. It's all over. I love fighting myself. I love Brazil. Do I play demos? I don't know what that means. Ooh, you guys, oh, yeah, you guys are going to the show from Russia. What's up? Dude, London was such a rad show. Did anybody go to the London show? That was a good show. I enjoyed it. I love the O2. It's fun. Yes, there's a tour in 2025. We're going to be touring a lot next year. Um, I'm excited to play live. There's a song called Casualty that's freaking heavy and I love it. It's so fun. How many instruments can I play? Uh... I can play a lot of instruments. How many instruments can I play well? Maybe four. Um, I don't know about the One More Light album. There's a few songs off of that that I think are really good. So I'd love to. No, I'm not jet lagged. Team Ketchup. What genre is the new album? I mean, if you ever listened to Linkin Park before, it sounds like Linkin Park. Um, Casualty, that's the one. I'm excited about that one. Um, influence me as a drummer, Dennis Chambers, probably the most. Oh yeah, I'm there. I haven't seen uh, her in a long time. She's cool. <clears throat> Favorite song to play on tour? It changes every night. Um, I really like uh, Somewhere I Belong. I really like that one. I like Lying From You. I like Paper Cut. I like uh, Numb. I like Keys to the Kingdom. Yes, I felt nervous at the first show. I feel nervous at every show, but it's more like excitement than it is nervous. Um, yes, I love Asia. Iran, what's up, Iran? Brazil. Never been to Brazil. I'm excited. Excited to go. Hardest song to learn? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. None of them were like that super hard to learn, I guess. But they're they're all different challenges in different ways. Favorite album? Um, From Zero, for sure. This is my drum, right here, Zildjian. Yes, I play live to a click track, yes. But sometimes the click track varies a little bit. I've uh, never been to Argentina. Love Linkin Park, they're my favorite band. Hybrid Theory or Meteora? I like, obviously I like songs off of both of them. They're, they're both great for different reasons. Um, I like, I think Meteora is like slightly more refined. So there's parts of it that I like about that. I like some of the songs off of that, but I also really, really like Hybrid Theory because it was like the first record. First Lincoln Park song I memorized? I don't remember. Um, I don't know if Brad's going to perform live. 
Um, you'd have to ask him. Texas, thank you. Favorite album um, lately? I think uh, Sleep Token's last album is amazing. Um, John Bellion's new album that hasn't come out is really good. How are the samples triggered on the kit? Uh, there's a drum brain that triggers several triggers I have, including the snare drum and the kick drum, and it changes per song because there's a computer that runs all the samples and it changes depending on where we are in the set. Um, we use Ableton to trigger all the sounds. Um, I've been a full-time drummer before in my past before I moved to LA and started producing. So, um, so yeah, so I kind of have been playing drums the whole time. Athena in Park. See you guys tonight. Love 21 Pilots, they're amazing. Uh, drummers that influenced me. Um, Dennis Chambers, one of the best alive. I've said that before. Um, Peter Erskine, Tony Royster Jr. Um, whew, let me think. Honestly, it kind of changes. There's so many great ones. Um, yes, I am using a lot of double pedals on Keys to the Kingdom, but actually I play a lot of single pedal when it sounds like double pedal, because um, that's how I grew up playing. So I play less double pedal than a lot of drummers who play fast. Um, but I do play double pedal a lot, yes. Uh, I don't know about the Middle Eastern tour, you'll have to keep, keep checking in with us. We are definitely gonna come to Buenos Aires at some point, um, and to Indonesia. Ah, uh, Ono Fiasco person, yeah, heck yeah, you know us. That was my first band called Ono Fiasco. Si, si todos. Hablo poquito espanol porque vivo en uh, uh, Los Angeles. Hopefully Emily does not destroy my drums, but we'll see. Constant jet lag, uh, take melatonin to try to sleep sometimes and drink a lot of water and, and I try to work out every day. Yes, we will be coming to Singapore. Um, Sao Paulo, I don't know, possibly. Um, I think that I try to play the old songs as close to the record as I can, but I have to also play it uh, the way I play drums, so you know, I have to like put some of myself into it or else it won't sound right. So yes, a little bit. In Peace is a great song. Can I say, uh, Salam Iran. Hey Kevin. Uh, no, I don't know how to play that song. Kevin Scaff from A Day to Remember in the chat. Kevin Scaff's the greatest guitar player ever. You guys know, have you guys heard uh, You're Welcome by A Day to Remember? Me and Kevin Scaff made that record with Jeremy. It was fun. Ketchup, 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 ketchup. Kevin Scaff, where are you at right now? Don't know about India. One OK Rock, they're some of my best friends. I love all of those guys. Uh, I've been working with them for 10 years. So they're some of my favorite people. I have a lot of stories about those guys. Uh, three years ago, me and Mike met a little over three years ago. Uh, I don't really know Portuguese. It's uh, similar to Spanish, but very different also. So no, I've never spoken Portuguese. 
Um, 311, they're really nice guys. Um, I grew up listening to them, so working with them was really fun. They're they're kind of they live by, close by in LA, close to me, so um, they've become good friends of mine. I don't hate Bogota. What are you talking about? Why would I hate Bogota? We're going to Bogota. We're gonna play Bogota. What are you talking about? We love Colombia. I'm from Tennessee. Uh, I am on, I play drums on When They Come For Me as well. Um, I think we just, I just wanted to play guitar. I told Mike I wanted to play guitar at some point and so that one just worked out. Yeah, let's go to Florida. I was born in Florida, actually. I was born in Pensacola, Florida. But I grew up in Tennessee. Favorite drummer, Dennis Chambers. How do I learn the drum part so fast? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really learn them that fast. There was a lot of songs to learn. Yeah, I love Gene Dawson. He's so sick. Favorite song from the new album? Um, I have a few. Good Things Go, uh, Overflow, and Casualty are some of my favorites. Yeah, Pensacola's got some beautiful beaches. Yeah, my parents had a, had a little tiny house right on the beach when I was born. I do sing. Not the best singer, but I do sing. Um, I don't know about Boston. I'm sure that we will probably do a US tour next year. So, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Luke Holland, yeah man, he's sick. Yeah, nice guy too. Super, super crazy drummer. He's very talented. Travis Barker, what about him? Yeah, my wrist is fine, it's just a little sore. I slept on it weird, so I just got a little like, little sore wrist from sleeping, sleeping on a plane or something. Yeah, my, Matt Garska's crazy. He's just super, super wild. A lot of multi-time signature stuff. Uh, first time in Korea, yes, it is. South Africa, I hope so. South Africa, I love the ant word. <clears throat> When will we come to Canada? Uh, we're doing a North American tour next year. We're still booking everything though, guys. Like, so everybody's asking me if we're coming places. We're gonna do a world tour next year. So we're probably, we're playing a ton of shows. It's gonna be everywhere. We're just working on it right now because um, we couldn't tell anybody about this release. So obviously we really couldn't book a ton of shows. So the more shows you book, then the more people who know about it. So we had to be careful about that. Uh, Eloy Casagrande is the greatest drummer alive, I think. Favorite band? Ooh, I don't know, man. Um, Sleep Token's pretty amazing right now. Hey, Trent, what's good, man? Yeah, Eloy Casagrande, like I said, he's the best, he's literally the best drummer on planet Earth right now. Yes, I've been to France. I was in France just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Collab with Taylor Swift, sure. Yeah, we're coming back to Brazil. Playing Australia, hell yeah, dude. Love Australia. I've been to Australia a bunch. Where is Emily? She is, I don't know where she is actually. Probably taking a nap. Yeah, I have been to New Zealand. I met my wife in New Zealand. Um, I hope so. 1OK Rock, they're some of my best friends. I love those guys. Uh, I just had breakfast with Mike, so he's probably in his room getting a massage or something. I'm not sure. He's chilling out. We have a show tonight, so everybody's kind of like taking it easy. <clears throat> Um, I don't think Sleep Token's not coming to Brazil with us, no. 
Um, yes, we will be. Drum throne. Uh, you'd have to ask my drum tech. I don't know. Yes, I am ready for the South American crowds. Let's go. Favorite food? Korean barbecue or sushi. We are playing some of the hunting party. Uh, I had a pretty basic breakfast today. I had just some like fruit and some um, rice pudding and some bagels or something. I don't remember. Turkmenistan. Favorite drum fill? Shit, I don't know, dude. John Bonham's got some good ones. I have one dog. Where does my hat? My hat says art that kills. Yes, we're coming to Mexico. Yeah, we met the Ordinary Heroes guys yesterday. They were super sweet. Nice guys. Oh yeah, beef bulgogi. I had some of that when I first came here. Fantastic. Dye my hair, bud. Why? Why would I dye my hair? Do I go to the LP subreddit? No, I don't. Should I? Biggest musical inspiration? Um, Linkin Park's a big one. Elite in Park. Um, yes, we are playing some German festivals next year, but I can't tell you which ones because I don't know yet. Um, I played a co-production role in the album, so um, I just kind of helped Mike and the guys, you know, create this new one. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a drum solo or not. Maybe. Probably not. Who knows? Favorite movie? I haven't watched a lot of movies. Which one should I watch? I just watched uh, that show Arcane because their song is in it and it's really beautiful. I play guitar, I play piano, not very well. Play bass, I sing, I play drums, uh, play mandolin, can play banjo. <laughs> a lot of strings, I, I, I can play a little bit of cello. First LP song I heard, uh, I mean, I can't remember exactly. It was probably stuff off of Hybrid Theory. Uh, Breaking Bad, obviously. The best show of all time. I like some anime, but I'm kind of new to it. Joe is showing me some, Joe Han is showing me some new anime stuff, so. He's showing me some of the older stuff, like Gundam and stuff. <clears throat> Don't know about Aftershock. Um, yeah, Guilty All the Same is a great song. Oh, thank you about the double pedal ending. That was kind of an accident one day. I just started doing it for fun and just to make a joke. And everybody was like, that's cool. We should keep doing that. I'm not taking Rob's place, by the way. I'm not trying to replace anybody. Gundam, yeah. Can I do Muay Thai? No. Um, I do, I used to do a little bit of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but I've uh, never done Muay Thai before. Do I have a religion? Uh, no, but I respect all religions. I'm not replacing Rob Borden, if anybody wants to know. That's not, my mindset isn't replacing anybody. That's, that was not the band's mindset when we set out to do this. This wasn't like anybody's getting replaced. This is just, we're moving forward. So it's not trying to fill anybody's shoes. Just kind of add to what's been built already. Um, Rob's an amazing drummer and he was really very influential to me um, in my, my drumming. And so um, trying to replace somebody like him would be unrealistic so so I have a huge I have huge respect for Rob and for Chester and for the band and and everything that they've accomplished so far so no intention of trying to um, 
you know, quote unquote, replace anybody or, or whatever. That's not, that's not what this is about. Love you guys. Thank you. Argentina, Brazil. I don't know about Mexico. We'll see. We just met with some Chinese um, Chinese media yesterday, and they were super sweet. And um, the rest of the band, Joe and Dave and Mike, have all told me that China is like a really great place to play show, uh, play um, shows. So I would love to come to China. I've never been there before. Yes, it's my first time in South Korea. I've spent a lot of time in Japan before, but I've never come to South Korea. Uh, I don't play a ton of video games because I produce on the computer a lot, so I try to keep my screen time down, um, so I don't play a ton of video games. Uh, favorite sport? I love to surf, um, and to watch, I like baseball, I like um, American football, and I like watching soccer. Catch up. Would love to do a show in India. You know, Korea has been amazing so far, although we we're kind of like far out. I'll show you guys. We're we're like out here, like near the airport. You can see the planes. Um, so we're kind of far away from, from Seoul. So I haven't had a chance really to go into the city yet. Uh, Emily, the first time I saw her in the studio, I remember I was kind of like, I looked at Mike and I was like, I recognize this girl. Who is she? Like, I recognize that scream. Who is that? She was in the vocal booth. And I was like, who is that? And he was like, that's Emily from Dead Sarah. And I was like, oh my God, I loved Dead Sarah. I, before I met Emily, I, I used to listen to um, their older albums. I do sing. Guns N' Roses? Yeah, of course, Sweet Child of Mine. Legendary. Favorite soccer team? I actually really like Argentina. Hopefully that doesn't get me any flack. I do like Argentina soccer. I always support them. I'm a big Messi fan. Favorite series? Uh, Breaking Bad, Arcane. Um, I, have a, I have a bunch, actually. This is a Zildjian Reflex. They gave this to me. It's really, really great. I love this. There's two sides to it. There's a like um, harder side. This one's you have to work a little harder for. And then this side is a little more bouncy. Um, <clears throat> These are 5A heavies is what I play right now. Good night, Canada. Spinning the fingers, this this number. Um, I mean, paper cut, I don't know. You have to have like more drums to play. Favorite song, I don't know, I've already said that a bunch. Alex was a is a very talented uh, session guitar player. He's played for Enrique Iglesias and LP um, and a few other people. Um, he's a really nice guy. We love Alex. Yes, I did grow up at Lincoln Park. And yes, I am the youngest member of the group, but not by much, only by like six months. Emily is about six months older than me. You guys, I can only read English quickly. Uh, so Whitechapel, just so you know, Whitechapel is from my hometown, which is Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, so I gotta support those guys. But I like Lamb of God too, actually. 
Josh Wilbur is one of my favorite producers and mixers, and he's done, done a lot of the Lamb of God stuff. Um, Brad's gonna, I don't know if Brad's gonna wind up playing any shows, you'd have to ask him. Thoughts on Bring Me Horizon? They're sweet guys and they're an amazing band. We all love Bring Me. Um, love those guys, they're insane. Uh, besides Linkin Park, <clears throat> I have so many favorite bands, it's hard to say. Um, I love a lot of the bands that I work with. Um, I've worked with The Day to Remember, they're great. Um, I love Sleep Token. I haven't worked with them, but they're, they're great guys in such a great band. Um, love Teddy Swims. He's, that's not a band, but, um, Grandson. CJ Thompson, that doesn't sound familiar, but it's possible. Love Slipknot. Oh my God, are you kidding? Crazy. Eloy Casagrande is insane. Never been to Vietnam. What is AAL? Sorry, guys. I don't know what that is. Hey, Dan Barron, uncle. My uncle Dan's in the in the chat. Dave Grohl, of course, obviously, same. Are there any types of drum sticks outside of the brand? Uh, I mean, I can pretty much play with any drum sticks, but these are the ones that I just happen to like right now. Hey, Framing Hanley Nixon, how are you, buddy? Miss you, hope you're doing good. New album is just power, a lot of power and a lot of aggression. Love Peru. My wife and I went to Peru a few years ago and we um, we had a great time. Suego Deluxe album. Oh man. I can't remember all the songs that are on there actually. There's, there's some good ones though. I can't remember which ones made the album, which ones are on the deluxe, but it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good record. Of course I've heard of Animals as Leaders, Matt Garska and to, uh, um, Tobin, nuts. Yes, there are some softer songs. Longest Scream on the album? Uh, tell me some Mexican bands. See you soon, Nixon. Costa Rica, I love Costa Rica. I've been surfing in Costa Rica. Um, Tamarindo and Playa Jaca, I've been down there a bunch. I was a drummer first. Um, my dad inspired me to be a musician. I come from a very musical family. Of course, I've heard of Parkway Drive. Favorite country to visit? Uh, I like a lot of places, so I really love Japan. Um, and I love um, Peru, that's a fantastic place. Also, Germany is great. Um, I'm getting ready to go to Scotland after this tour is over tomorrow. I'm flying back to Scotland for a little vacation. So, first song I've recorded with Mike, uh, never came out actually. It's a it's a song called uh, Ride. Never came out. Um, favorite crowd on the tour? You guys have all been so great. It's hard to say. Favorite Papa Roach song? Um, I could say the one that I've made is probably a song called Help. I love that song. If I was not in Lincoln Park, I would probably be producing another rock album right now. I can't wait. Columbia blew my mind. Tom sizes, 10, 12, 16, 18, 14 on my left. Favorite Deftone song, Digital Bath. Yeah, the LA Forum show was great. Mike loves you guys. He's very appreciative. He talks about it all the time. He, uh, all the, the entire band is just so appreciative of all of you guys. Top Alice in Chains song, uh, Nutshell. Yes, I do, I have two kids. 
two small children. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Favorite Nine Inch Nails song only. Uh, I started making music in Cubase, and I still use Cubase, but sometimes I use Ableton, and sometimes I use Pro Tools too. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there, there's so many Great Lincoln Park songs, guys, that, that like I think we'll probably continue like alternating some of them out. So you probably hear a lot of stuff on the Hot Hunting Party. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm not. I'm not really sure yet what we're gonna do, but like, just keep keep checking in with us. How many symbols is too much? I don't know. I love bad omens. Um, corn? Yeah, I know Jonathan and Monkey. Favorite Bon Jovi song? Uh, Dead or Alive, obviously. What did I... Uh, actually, I mean, yeah, Brad and Mike have a lot to do with the, the set list, obviously, because they know the song so well. Um, Turnstile is one of my favorite bands. Um, we worked with, um, we worked with, um, Turnstile's producer, Mike Elizondo, on Heavy is the Crown. He, he co-wrote Heavy is the Crown with us. Favorite Metallica album? The Black Album. Is Mike okay? Yeah, he's fine. Do I know the warning? Uh, British band, I think. Do I mix all in the box? Um, no, actually, I have a bunch of hardware that I use too. Sometimes I do though. Uh, I met one of one OK Rock through my old mentor John Feldman about ten years ago. Favorite song from Dead Star? The Weatherman, obviously. Um, did I sing any background vocals? <clears throat> I, I, uh, I did sing background vocals on at least one song and yeah, I helped produce it and played some guitar and did some, did a bunch of stuff. I don't know. We all kind of did a bunch of stuff. It was like all over, it was very like all over the place. So Joe did a bunch of different stuff instruments and so did Dave and so did Mike and so did I and so we kind of all like and Brad and we all kind of you know passed around instruments favorite song I miss the midnight what I've done I practice every single day uh I don't know what's I don't know I'm not super familiar with Depeche Mode actually opinions of one more light I think it was a really well written album and it's very different for Lincoln Park but um I think that there's some really great songs on there. Do I like Black Sabbath? Yeah, of course. Um, did Emily play some guitars? Uh, maybe. I think she might have played some. I don't remember. She does play guitar. A uh, bunch of Korean barbecue ate here. Uh, Thousand Sons, uh, Catalyst. Uh, I was six years old when I started playing drums. Yeah, there's a bunch more in 2024. Check Park.com. Yes, I do. I do like 30 seconds to most. From Yesterday is my favorite song from about 30 seconds to most. Yes, I like Aerosmith. My favorite meal, uh, sushi when I'm in Tokyo. Of course, I love System of a Down. Ariel's is my favorite song. We are coming to Brazil. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. In the process of writing lyrics, um, actually, I'm going to keep that one secret. What do you guys think? Three Days Grace song? I hate everything about you. Uh, this is an Acme t-shirt. Do I work with Demi Lovato? No, I have not worked with Demi Lovato, but Mike has worked with her. Uh, Auckland. 
destination on this tour? Mm, London. That was my favorite one. Although I loved all of, all of you guys. I love all the shows. Yeah, Costa Rica is incredible. Favorite song I've produced? Oh man, that's hard. I don't know. I have so many. I've, I've produced so many songs. It's hard to... Josh Fries is probably my favorite overall drummer. Now. I think Eloy Casagrande is the best technical drummer alive. Um, Dennis Chambers was probably the one that had the most influence on me, but Josh Fries is probably my favorite drummer. How old am I? How old do you think I am? Favorite 333 song? Mm, uh, New West Order is cool. What shampoo do I use? I don't know. Favorite 21 Pilots song? Uh, Ride. Um, no, I don't really have any jet lag today. I did yesterday. It's getting a lot of the same questions, guys. I don't know if some stone sour. Oh, actually I do. Uh, the first one. You don't need to bother. That song, bother. Travis Barker. Favorite Green Day song? Ooh, when I come around. Actually, wrong. Uh... I don't know. Green Day's got some hits, man. I don't know. I use double pedal, but I play single pedal a lot. Do I know Snot? Like the rapper? Um, favorite Joy Division song? I'd have to think about that one, to be honest. I have a few. I don't know any Dream Theater songs. Why, thank you, Barbara. Tell Mark to come to Chile. Does it feel to be a rebirth? It feels amazing. Super uh, grateful. Uh, nothing bizarre yet, actually. No fans have done anything bizarre. Um, do I like the Beatles? Of course I like the Beatles. And yes, also, I love Eminem. I love you, Elite. Elite? Have you watched Emily Destroying Drum Sets? Yeah. Stone Temple Pilots song. Mm, flies in the Vaseline. Uh, I did meet Chester once um, years ago at Aftershock Festival. I was backstage and um, I didn't know him then. He was singing for Stone Temple Pilots. And um, I saw him like outside of his dressing room and he was warming up. And uh, I came up to him and I just was like, hey man, I'm a big fan. And he gave me a hug and told me how much he appreciated me. And that was the only time I ever met him. Um, but he was so warm and sweet. And uh, I always remember that. Hey Daniel, good to see you, man. Uh, I play a lot of instruments, man. Not, not super well, <laughs> but um, I'm a recording. I've spent a lot of time in the studio, so as when you're, you know, producing in the studio, sometimes you have to learn to play instruments. Um, if you have an idea. Um, you have to kind of like figure it out. So I've learned to be fairly versatile and be able to play like a lot of instruments, but drums are my favorite. <clears throat> uh, I don't know how to do the turntables, but Joe's been trying to teach me. My studio is in Los Angeles. Brazilian food uh, like I actually don't know like do they have I've had like Brazilian barbecue which is really cool but I don't, I don't know a ton of Brazilian food I can't wait to try some favorite percussion instrument um, kungas like I play kungas Those are sweet. Thank you. Backstage writer? Um, I don't know. It's like 
they treat us really well. So we usually have like a lot of stuff. Um, Peruvian food. Thought the oysters were good and I love the potatoes. Um, <laughs> how many tattoos? I have my wedding ring. I have this one. I've got this little quarter sleeve here. Um, and then I have some of my wrists too. It is one o'clock here, one o'clock PM. Uh, favorite LP song lyrics. Uh, I love waiting for the end and some of the stuff, honestly, on the new one, the new album is pretty profound. I think you guys are going to really like it. There's also a couple of songs that we haven't released yet that are may or may not come out next year that are, um, we're still working on that are, are really amazing. Worst LP song? Oh, come on. That's not a good question. Yeah, actually I am getting my arm finished uh, in December this year. There's a really great artist in LA called Bodroff. Um, he's insane. So he's the one who's gonna finish my arm. Favorite vocalist in a band? Uh, Emily Armstrong is pretty great. Thank you. Which venue has been the most interesting or logistically challenging? Our crew is so good at sort of ringing out stuff. So pretty much every time we show up, it's just, it's it sounds great and looks great. And so you'd have to ask them. I'm sure that they have an opinion on that. But for me, it's kind of been all pretty smooth. Challenging song to play. I think the hardest one for me is probably the Catalyst, actually. Um, I would love to play rock and Rio. I'm six one, six foot one inch. Is Emily as sweet? Emily, is, of course she's sweet. She's one of she's one of our good friends, and um, I think she's one of the nicest people I know. The catalyst. Oh, uh, beautiful people. <clears throat> yeah, Bruno Agra. I fucking know Bruno. He's the best, dude. Brazilian, the Brazilian gorilla, dude. I know, Braz I know Bruno. He's awesome. If you know Bruno, tell him I said hi. I miss that guy. He's he's dope. Hey, Nick Brooks. How you doing, buddy? Who's the funniest? I don't know, man. There, we, we have a lot of fun. Everybody's pretty funny. Depends on what time of day it is. Joe is usually Joe is usually the clown, though. He's usually like doing dumb shit all the time to make everybody laugh. Uh, I have not worked with a day to remember in a long time. Um, well, in a couple of years at least. So, but they're some of my good friends, and uh, I think they have a new album coming out, and it's really good. Josh Freese, my favorite drummer. Favorite Brazilian musician is by far Eloy Casagrande. No, I don't like Panda Express. No, I don't golf, although Dave really plays a lot of golf. Am I a virgin? What do you think? Uh, hardest show I've ever done? Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Brad is in LA right now. No, I'm not playing any video games right now. I'm a little busy. Oh, Omar Hakim. I love Omar. I love his work with Sting. I think he's really talented. Hardest Linkin Park song to play? Thank you. I love my December. Uh, I used to be a big Maynard fan. Um, I 
I kind of grew out of it a little bit, but I still have a lot of respect for Perfect Circle and for Tool. So it's not my favorite thing to listen to right now, but I also respect it a lot and uh, used to really listen to them a lot. I don't know if Brad will tour. You'd have to ask him. Yeah, of course we sleep. Uh, I do play a little bit of jazz, but I'm not great at jazz drumming. That's not my style, usually. Um, but I can play a little bit. How did I meet my wife? Met, um, met her many years ago through a friend. Um, Phil Collins, uh, I mean, he's legendary. I really like, actually, his work on the, uh, the Tarzan soundtrack <laughs> from, like, the 90s. I think he's talented. Yes, I did eat some kimchi yesterday. Anita, the Brazilian artist. Yeah, we're announcing more dates when they come. Aliens, do I think aliens exist? I think that it's likely that intelligent life exists either in the future or in the past somewhere in the world, somewhere in the universe, but I don't think that they've come to Earth. Yes, I love Muse. Um, Origin of Symmetry is one of my favorite rock albums. Yes, I use double pedals. What is it like making music with Mike in the band? It's pretty transcendent. Yeah, I'm just doing some live streams now because I haven't done one yet and I wanted to talk to you guys, so I don't know how often I'll do it. Probably not that often. Emily's pretty tall. She's maybe 5'11", five, 5'10", five, I don't know. She's shorter than me, but not much. Yeah, like a Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, I know of Trivium. Favorite Green Day song? Somebody asked me that earlier. I said when I could come around, but I also love... Um, American Idiot, and I love um, Wake Me Up When September Ends, and I love Holiday. <clears throat> I don't know, I have so many favorite ones. Who's the tallest in the band? Probably me. What's up, what's up, Adam on Cove, bro? What's good? Big time rush music? I don't know. Um, Logan Henderson and uh, Logan Henderson's one of my good friends. So, uh, like, favorite Romstein song? Do Host. Um, yes, I did a little bit of marching in school, but I actually quit band and uh, all that to learn how to produce when I was younger. Pre-concert ritual, a lot of stretching, a lot of singing, and a lot of tapping on my drum pad, and I have a little drum set up um, that I do. Favorite Michael Jackson song? Ooh, Human Nature. New Metal Comeback? I don't know, is there a New Metal Comeback? What's up, Bronx? Bronx the drummer in the house, man. Um... I don't know, they're drumming or guitar, they're very different. They're different things. Favorite My Chemical Romance song? Black Parade. Favorite sport? Mm, like team sport? Probably soccer. Favorite Slipknot song? You're gonna probably hate me, um, but uh, Duality. I think that's the best song that they have. I do have kids. Yeah, I have two kids, two small kids. I thought the animation was cool. Um, it was like, you know, Riot Games did a really great job. Um, obviously we were helping them sort of like support their game. So I think that they did 
I think they did a really great job to make the two worlds come together. Um, their animation was really cool. When did I become a drummer? What did you just say? Do I feel like learning how to produce becoming? Yes, it did help me become a better drummer for sure. <laughs> I don't know what Corey Taylor thinks about it, but I do think that, uh, I, I mean, Wait and Bleed is amazing. Um, um, Vermillion's amazing. I, th I actually thought that that Rick Rubin album that they did, the Subliminal Verses was like, that's, I just, that, that does it for me. I also love Psychosocial. So, any Slipknot fans in there that, that call me a sellout, then I'm sorry, but those are my favorite Slipknot songs. First instrument, drums. Uh, actually, violin, but I wasn't very good at it. And so I quit. And then I started playing drums later. Yes, of course, I have tons of snare drums. I use high-pitched and low-pitched all the time for recording. I like higher-pitched snare drums because they're fun to play, but they're not always the best sounding for everything. Favorite 80s band? Oh, jeez. Uh, man, I don't know, dude. There's, I have, a, I have a lot of favorite 80 bands, actually. Um, yeah, I didn't say that the best Linkin Park song was Numb, though. That's the cool thing about music, though, guys. You can always, like, you know, everybody can have a... Nobody's right or wrong. It's a subjective thing. It's a sliding scale, so... You know, just because somebody says that some song is their favorite, that just means that they, it connected to them. You know, it doesn't mean that they're wrong or that their opinion is less valid. It just means that that means that that connects to them, you know? So everybody can be right. Everybody's favorite song can be different and they can all be right. Uh, Love Song is my favorite Cure song. And of course, I love Queen. Um, Freddie Mercury is one of the greatest front people of all time. So, let's see, is there a heavier song? Yes, there is. There is there is sub significantly heavier songs than that on the, on the album. I got a bunch of tattoos, but not too many. Uh, played drums since I was six, so a long time. Uh, I love Gojira, actually. Um, L'Enfant Sabotage is my favorite song by Gojira. Panic at the Disco song? Oh man, I don't know. I Rise Stand is Not Tragedies is kind of a classic, isn't it? Favorite song by Queen? <laughs> dude. I don't know, dude. Um, there's, there's so many good songs by Queen, right? Favorite drum brand is DW. Bye, see you later, goodbye. Rage Against the Machine might be my favorite band of all time. I love, love, love Rage Against the Machine. If you know anything about me. Yeah, Wildflower by Billie Eilish is good. Yeah, of course, I know Block Party. Actually, uh, Mike and I used Block Party as like a reference for some of our drum sounds on some of the songs on the album. You'll be able to kind of tell. That doesn't sound exactly like it, but we were listening to some of that stuff. I like Block, block Party. Kazakhstan. Logos on the sticks. Favorite corn song? Um, Freak on a Leash. I like Got the Life too. Favorite band to produce? I don't know. Linkin Park's good. I like them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I listen to some music in Spanish. Favorite song? The new? I don't know. There's a bunch. There's a few. I don't have any of my own songs, actually. Yes, I did. I, I told this story earlier. I met Chester once. He was really, really sick. Really nice. 21 Pilots drummer Josh, Josh Dunn, he's insane. Great drummer, very musical, really sweet guy too. Favorite Limp Biscuit song? Um, 
Man, I don't know. Pretty much everything off of uh, Significant Other. Favorite album of all time, Evil Empire by Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, of course I love hip-hop hip -hop music. My favorite rapper, um, like modern rapper or what? Uh, how do we split the production? Um, it's kind of a kind of a thing you should ask Mike. Yeah, I do like Lamb of God. Of course I like Fort Minor, yeah. Mike's um, Post Traumatic is a really great album. If you haven't heard it, you should check it out. Deftones, love Deftones. Um, I love, I mean, White Pony is like, was a big album for me. So I love um, Digital Bath. I mean, Change, obviously. Um, I like some of the later stuff too, like Swerve City. Post Punk, what is that? I don't know what that is. No, I've never worked with West Portland, but I've met him a few times. How much do I bench? Yeah, I do have a pet. Um, I have a dog, one dog. Nine Inch Nails, incredible. Opinions on Spirit Box? Uh, I think they're pretty sick. Dan Bronstein produces them, and my friend Zach Subini mixes them, and I think they sound really, really great. Jimmy Fallon, he's so nice. Such a sweet guy. Very genuine. Favorite food, sushi. Favorite show? They've all been really great. Um, I really, I had a great time in London though. Um, so many, my dad was a big um, music fan. So, you know, a lot of older bands from like the seventies and eighties is what he was listening to. So that's kind of what got me into music, you know, like the Eagles and stuff like that. Yeah, I love K-pop. I actually make some K-pop and produced a little bit. I do like Mastodon. MF Doom, yeah, I know who that is. Favorite show on TV right now? I'm watching kind of like some like older stuff right now. I'm watching like The Office and Parks and Rec just to like go to sleep and kind of relax. But I like Succession. Um, one of my friends, uh, Nick Braun, is an actor in that show. I'm six foot one. I have performed with One OK Rock before. Thank you, Linda. How many hours of sleep? Uh, last night I got a lot. I got like seven or eight. No, Emily's not hurting my drums. Favorite books? Uh, I just finished this book called uh, All the Light We Cannot See by um, Doer, and it's really great. Favorite NBA team? The Lakers, duh. That's where I live. What do I drink on stage to fuel? Uh, I like sparkling water. So there's this company called Sanzo that I love that we drink a lot of. And then I just drink like regular water or Gatorade on stage. Hey, Zach Myers. Zach Myers from Shinedown in, in the house. Yeah, I'm a Ringo Starr fan, duh. Favorite subject in school? Um, I was kind of busy daydreaming a lot and playing music, so I don't really remember. Art, art was my favorite, probably. And then I liked history too. Um, places I've lived, lived in Tennessee, I've lived in New Zealand, I've lived in, well, not really lived, but I spent some time in New Zealand. Um, lived in Florida, lived in California. Been playing all my life. No, I don't see Knoxville very often. I go to see my parents sometimes, but I usually fly them out to California. Uh, soccer team, I like Argentina. It's one of my favorites. I love Argentina. It's because I'm a Messi fan. That's why. What do I think about Oasis getting back together? I think it's a great thing. A great band. No, I've never heard of Manic Street Preachers. 
Uh, I like coffee. I'm a coffee person. Favorite LA restaurant? A place called Asanebo. It's a sushi restaurant in Studio City. Um, yeah, you can have a drumstick if you're close. Coming to Australia sometime, I'm sure. David Gilmore, 100%. Best guitar player ever. What's up, Archie? Favorite NHL L team, Nashville Predators. Who's my drum influence? Dennis Chambers, Josh Fries. Who bust think? What's up, Argentina? No, I've never heard of that. Thank you. You guys are super nice. Everybody's so nice here. Thank you guys for being so nice to me. Favorite watch brand, AP. Favorite Nickelback music? Dude, Nickelback's got some, some hits though. You know what I mean? I love Argentina. Love to go to Poland. My favorite band, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, they're both heavy as a crown and empty as a machine. They're both they're both so good. They're just like different emotions. Um, heavy as the crown, I think, was kind of happened quick, but um, they're so different. I don't. Oh, thank you, Franco. Uh, I don't know. We're probably gonna go to Indonesia. Apple or Samsung? I mean. I'm on an Apple phone right now, so. Most underrated band, Fugazi, or actually probably, um, mm, I don't know. Most underrated band, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Sick New World. International fame, I'm not really famous, so I wouldn't say I've achieved any kind of international fame. Yeah, I love Incubus. They used to be one of my favorite bands. I'll tell you one of the most underrated albums of all time, though, is The Shape of Punk to Come, I think. Yeah, I have a dog. Last show I watched, Parks and Rec. A lot of people have asked me that. Favorite ex-ambassador song? Ooh, you know what? Um, what is that one song? It's like VHS. Um, it's the one that goes, I don't remember the name of it, but it's the one that goes, Hold, hold on. Hold on to me, unsteady, cause I'm a little unsteady. I love that song. I think it's an amazing song. I haven't heard that song about Skillet, but I know John and Corey really well. They're super sweet. What songs are my guilty pleasures? This new Sabrina Carpenter is pretty great. Have you heard that? Favorite Bringing the Horizon song? I'm an old school Bringing the Horizon fan. I like um, uh, Can You Feel the Heart? <clears throat> um, yes, I was a fan, for sure. Big fan. Favorite USC fighter? John Jones. Yeah, I love Coldplay. Emily is, uh, I don't know exactly how tall she is, but she's, she's tall. She's, she's pretty tall. I love touring. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I, we just met Ordinary Heroes yesterday. And yes, I like soccer. Um, next gen song. Uh, I don't remember the names of them because they're kind of some weird titles, but I've heard the whole album. My friend Zach Servini produced and mixed that album. So I've heard the whole record. I think it's really good. Very like maximalist sort of. Um, all these, all these Sykes has got a really crazy like vision. I think he likes a lot of anime and very like busy sounding things. So um, 
I know Zach and their other producer, Dan Lancaster, and uh, those guys are very like, there's a lot of sounds that come together and they do a really nice job of like, of layering stuff together. And it's very like exciting to listen to. So I don't remember the titles. Um, Korean Zombie, I don't know. Ronnie Radke's new album. I know their produ his producer, Tyler Smith. And um, yeah, I do. I think that uh, Tyler does a really great job of like sound design and, and the songs are cool. Favorite beach to surf? Uh, Malibu, probably. It's really mellow. How's it working with Papa Roach? I don't know. Those guys are, I've known them forever. They're like my older brothers. They're, they're like, you know, we've made so much music together. So, um, I, I'm still working with them. I'm actually working with them later this month. We're going to go in for a little bit. We'll come to Vegas. All right, guys, I'm going to, uh, probably wrap this up because I got to go do some stuff. But um, I love all of you and I appreciate you guys and just wanted to come in here and say what's up and answer some questions and stuff. Well, I got some time. So um, thank you for being so nice to me and, and to Emily and, you know, welcoming us into your world and we're just doing the best we can, you know. So we love this band. We're big fans of, of Lincoln Park and we're really um, appreciative of all, of all of you guys for bringing us into your family and giving us so much love. So we're doing our best. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.